In the previous video, we created a small window uh, with a button in it, and there's the button, May I Help You? And when you click it, it will bring up or alter the contents of this label. The label has nothing in it, so you don't normally see it unless you click on it. Uh, but up here is what I want to uh, briefly work on, is the content of the button. It's got text in it. You don't have much in the way of flexibility. It's just going to be text. There is a way of going in there and modifying the CSS so that you can change the font and so forth. But if you do that, you also conflict with the underlying theme uh, of your GNOME desktop. Uh, so probably not desirable. What a lot of people like to do, of course, is put icons in here. Um, now, we can do that if we go over here to the right-hand side and say, Add Custom Content. Um, well, actually, stock button is where I wanted to go first. Uh, stock button. If you go to stock button, there is a bunch of buttons there. And I don't know. Um, uh, let's, let's just pick the one with floppy. And you get the word floppy, which is not really much of an improvement. It actually has less buffer space, if you might notice, on the edges, which is odd, but that's the way it works. And you have some left-right type of justification of it. You could say always show image. Now you're going to get the word floppy with... The word uh, with with an image of of, um, of the floppy icon. I don't know if that's really much of an improvement. What I'd like is just to have an icon in there, whether it's a stock icon, and you saw there was a list of stock icons here, or if it's one I designed myself, which is just a small JPEG or .png file. Okay, so I say add custom content. Now, when I went to add custom content, you notice we have this. A grayish area in here. There's nothing in there. Uh, it is an area, however, into which I can put something because this is a container of sorts. The button now becomes a container. And what I would like to do is I'd like to put an image in there. So I go to GTK image and I drag it and I put it in there. Now what you're seeing there is GTK missing image. I'm sorry, it's very tiny. It's not really visible at all. But it's the GTK stock Im uh, image for a missing image. Uh, it's button size. You can pick other sizes, like um, about dialog. And there you see it's much larger. Uh, we're going to have to adjust some sizes here. But if I want to put a stock icon in there, for example, let me go to floppy again. There it is. There is the floppy. Now, I would uh, go over here and I would... Um, Let's see. Um, that's the uh, you got to watch out because you get the button, and then the child of the button is the image. I did not give the image a name. Um, you don't really need to. You're probably not going to play with the image. You might. You may want to make the image invisible and have another image that comes up in place of it, in which case you'll need an ID for it. But the button is the controlling item here, and the button has a size parameter. So. Um, I guess that's as big as it's going to be. Um, I guess there's nothing to be changed there. That's the size it wants to go. Uh, but there is the um, there is an image inside of the um, of the button. Now, if I were to save this, which I just did, and if I would go to my um, excuse me, let me bring up the uh, there it is. Um, if I go here and I run the program, the program is still the same, part1-bin, because I didn't change the program. All I did was change the XML file. And you see now, you don't get text in there, you get an image. The image is totally irrelevant to what the button's doing, but you, know, you get the idea. Uh, you can uh, not only put uh, stock images in there, you could put images uh, that you created yourself. So if I click here, you'll see there's my hello world pops up like before. So uh, kill that and go back out. Um, the, uh, in, terms of the, in terms of the actual image down here, um, it is using a stock ID. You could go and if you click on this button down, you could go to a file name and you could actually access a file name uh, of your own creation and it would go in there instead of the image. Um, every time you do this, of course, it loses its mind. It, it forgets everything. Um, and so uh, you've got various sizes. Um, it's a drag and drop size. There's a, a, a button size, which is pretty tiny. Large toolbar size. Small to toolbar size. Menu size. Well, that didn't do much. Um, see, dialog size, I guess, is one of the larger ones. Um, you don't have too much uh, control over it altogether. Um, 
But anyway, there's the um, there's the way you can put an icon inside of a button uh, and um, go with that.